We just gotta line up this top one with one of these. The long days of the pandemic. Hold it right there, okay? Are forcing folks to find new pastimes. It just became a lot of fun, something to do as a family. At this home. All right, ready? ready. Off of Lauderdale Drive in Henrico. It's a hobby and it's fun to do. The Roberts brothers are tackling a DIY project from another era. That should be good, yeah. Chase, Luke, and Van, with help from Dad Steve, are hands-on with history. In the corners? Yeah, four corners. They are building a replica of a tiger tank from scratch. I take a lot of pride in this. Not for a class assignment. The custom wood and plastic behemoth is an essential prop for their passion. Okay, that might be okay. War Bloods is a World War II series shot and produced by and starring the siblings. Robert, put those down. Go load the bazooka. A small army of neighbors and classmates round out the cast. That is what kind of sets action to the movie. The D-Day landings and Battle of the Bulge are recreated on the sands of Virginia Beach to the thick woods of Goochland. We take it very seriously because we have limited time. The short films follow a group of American soldiers across Europe in 1944. We do a lot to make it look authentic. The two-year-old production is attracting fans that would make any Hollywood movie maker envious. We want every episode to be better with a better storyline, better props, better everything. Their 14 installments on YouTube have generated more than 3.7 million views. We have fans from Russia, Germany, uh, Brazil, uh, you name it, India, I mean, Saudi Arabia. Sounds like this. Post-production doesn't require a studio with expensive bells and whistles. Kind of both have a feel for acting, have a feel for World War II, because we've been doing it for like two years now, so. Chase adds special effects using his iPhone and apps. I'd say it's very intense and it's pretty stressful. From start to finish, one 10 minute episode takes several weeks to produce. Pretty awesome, because it kind of like makes you feel like you're like an actual movie production. The 13 year old says getting it right historically is essential. Moving on right here, we have all the Americans. We have some green for like the paratroopers and then tan for seaborne. A growing collection of uniforms. All right, now we can set it down right here. Weapons and helmets transforms their home into a small armory. This right here is a World War II American bazooka we made out of PVC. Um, piping. Right here we have some nice sandbags that we got and then we filled them up with sand. Some critics have commented that young boys should not be glorifying war. The boys say the series is about honoring veterans who sacrificed so much. We're not promoting warfare. We're just trying to recreate history and um, experience um, what the soldiers saw and felt. We love America and we want to honor her history, and this is one way to do it. 12-year-old Luke says making accurate World War II movies is far more productive than other boyhood hobbies. In video games, you're just kind of just sitting on a couch with a controller and just like playing what other people have already created. In this, you're kind of just like living in the video game or something like that. Here are the Vaisons, Vaisons. Chase doesn't see him pulling the plug on the series. In fact, he's considering a career in film. I think about it all the time. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Playing Good. with little green army men, this is not. This is like visualizing their story. For the Roberts family, their movie making magic is proving to be a true band of brothers. How's that, Dad? Excellent. Does that look that, good? That turned out better than I thought it would. Yeah. And we paint it.